This week on Canada in the Rough, we're bear hunting in Ontario. Kevin Beasley is hunting with John Ward of Camilla's Knives in Northwestern Ontario for spring black bears. They hunt hard with their crossbows and have a fun adventure with Boundary Waters Guide Service. Join us this week on Canada in the Rough. Beautiful place back in here. Thanks, Sean. Thank you. Well, we just pulled into Boundary Waters Guide Service and we are excited to be here. We're in Northwestern Ontario. It's taken us 16 hours to get here. I got a special guest with me, John Ward from Camillus. We're gonna get in here, get a good night's sleep, and we're gonna be hunting bears tomorrow. Boundary Waters Guide Service is a full-service outfit located one hour southwest of Thunder Bay. This unique and rustic cabin was built by Andrew's father back in the 70s. Stepping through the doors is like stepping back in time. Equipped with multiple bedrooms and a full kitchen, the camp even has a traditional Finnish sauna. Along with opportunities to hunt black bears, they also offer moose and wolf packages, fishing packages, along with animal viewing for non-hunters. As the first morning began, Kevin and John checked some game cameras and had a filling breakfast with Andrew and Betty before sighting in their bows ahead of their afternoon hunt. John, after that long drive yesterday, it's going to feel nice to get into the stand, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, is it ever? Hopefully this weather will hold off a little bit for us, yeah, getting it's a some beautiful, thunder. Beautiful morning, but we're hearing a little bit of the thunder rolling, eh? Yeah, we're all sighted in and good to go, yeah. so I can't wait to get out there. Some yeah. beautiful stands, some great scenery. Yeah, so. and the trail camera showed some nice bears on them, so good luck yeah. tonight, yeah, and hopefully you, you can uh, you. bring one back for me. Wish for good weather. All right, all good right. luck, man. See ya. <laughs> Looks like a salad. Yeah, I think that's a sow. The 
this is why having a little bit of bait down on the ground gives us a great chance to assess what the bear is, the sex of the bear. If there's any cubs around, we are absolutely very protective of the cubs, so we're not going to take anything that has any chance of having cubs. We get a, we got a really good look at this bear, and uh, we're going to let her walk. As the hunt continued for Kevin and John, the above average temperatures seemed to be waking up many animals in the area, except for the bears who were staying deep in the cool dark woods out of the heat. But they continued their quest in the hot weather, which seemed to be bringing out other unwanted guests. Oh, another tick. We have been finding these all over us this trip. It seems like it's an extremely bad year. It seems like all across North America, the population of these things are getting higher and higher. But luckily for us, these are the wood tick and not the deer tick. The wood tick doesn't got very Lyme disease, so we're safe on that one. But I'm killing every one I see. Wood ticks are dark brown in color, with silver gray to whitish coloring on their back. The wood ticks aren't known to carry Lyme disease. They can transmit other diseases. So it's highly recommended to do a thorough search on your body after spending time in the outdoors. And though very small, once they feed on a human or animal, they can swell up to a quarter inch when fully engorged. Unfortunately, this bear is an adolescent, so Kevin decided to pass on him. Though the young bear was entertaining to watch, as he was not about to share his food with the crafty red squirrels. Presented him with the right shot. 
I got my good friend John with me on this hunt from Camilla's Knives and I'd really like to see him get a bear so if that bear doesn't come back for me, I'll send John in here and hopefully he'll get a crack at him. After a filling dinner at camp, Kevin and John headed to their respective stands for their evening hunt on day four. I hunt for a variety of reasons. Uh, get outdoors because I like being outside. Um, I like nature, all types of nature, whether I'm hunting it or just observing it. and. Um, I guess hunting is something that you're sort of born with. I was introduced to hunting when I was 12 years old. I liked it and uh, took it up from there. Started with ducks and grouse, upland game, and slowly progressed to deer and then all other big game. And I've had the opportunity to hunt in several different countries. Being able to go out and do an activity that I love and take my products with me and test them and develop them is a great honor and lots of fun. So just getting any bear and having a good hunt where you're challenged, um, level of excitement, beautiful scenery, that's what it's all about. With only 30 minutes of legal light left, John began his recovery for his Northwestern Ontario black bear. There's some blood. There's good blood. There's blood here. Ah, here he is. Boy, wow. And he is absolutely done. We knew that by the sounds, the crashing. I can still see my Luminok up there. Uh, he didn't go 30 yards, just, just devastating. So we put the shot on the money. Uh, everybody back home is gonna be super thrilled with this guy because he's gonna be a great eating bear. And at our house, bear is one of the favorites. So this guy's perfect for the table and uh, was a great hunt. He gave us all sorts of challenges, made us wait, made us wait, and uh, finally got him. So what a great day. I got uh, a tag to get on this guy, and then we're gonna drag him up to the top of the hill and get him home. With John's tag filled, Kevin hunted hard for the rest of the week, but high temperatures and bad winds sent him home empty-handed. Thankfully, Andrew invited Kevin to come back in the fall to try and harvest a northwestern Ontario black bear. Well, we're back on with Andrew, and uh, it's middle of August. 
breakfast. We've got a beautiful night to sit in the woods. Andrew's been seeing a really good boar in here with a couple other bears, so with any luck, we'll have some action tonight. As the sow left, movement to the left caught Kevin's attention. A set of triplet cubs and a sow soon emerged from the woods. Andrew has been capturing a number of sows with multiple cubs on game cameras, a good sign of a very healthy bear population in this area. The young bears gave Kevin an entertaining end to his first night back in the woods. I think we just got ourselves a bear. Oh my goodness, he came in from the left-hand side where there's a bunch of trees. He was less than 20 yards away when he showed up. You could tell he was a boar right off the bat, and uh, he gave us a perfect shot, then took off right at us, and I think I heard him crash about 20 yards behind us. We'll give him about 30 minutes, and we'll go have a look. Sure got the heart pumping. So he should just be right in here, I think. Oh, really good one. Oh, good, oh. good. There he is. Oh, let's get our hands on him, Andrew. There he is. Here, help me pull him onto this log, this rock, will you? Oh. Oh. Oh, there he is. What a beautiful coat on him, eh? Gorgeous. Big summer coat Gorgeous on him. Bear. Wow. Well, Andrew, I can't thank you enough, really. Thank you so much. John and I had a pleasure here. We had a lot of fun. You uh, run a great guide and outfit. Thank you. Yeah. We try hard. We, uh, we do our best to manage manage the herd, so to speak. Yeah. yeah well, so, thanks so. for having us back again. The, the sure. spring, we didn't have much luck. We had a lot of the bad weather. The wind wasn't cooperating with us. Yep. We didn't get some of those big boars that you had on the camera. Yeah. But we've seen how you got a healthy bear population here, yeah, man. Yeah, we were watching nine cubs, I think. Yeah. Last week. yeah. Well, we had the, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. We'll get a tag on them and we'll get them out of here. Well done. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Well, I sure did have a great time at Boundary Waters Guide Service with Andrew and Betty. They're great people and they run a wonderful outfit. I'm grateful I was able to get back up there and harvest my own bear. But what I'm really going to take from this hunt was being able to see John's face after he got his bear. It's always wonderful to see people's reactions after they harvest a black bear and John's didn't disappoint. If you ever get the chance to hunt black bears here in Ontario, you got to do it. I'm your host, Kevin Beasley from Canada Rough. Enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of your hunting heritage. If you enjoyed this video, click on the subscribe button and check out our other hunting and wildlife videos right here. Thanks for watching and remember, enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of our hunting heritage.